Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a huge amount of news to get into, so make sure you watch till the end of the video to get covered on all of this. Just as a quick reminder, at 500 subs, we have a huge announcement for all of you guys. We're at like 465 right now for subscribers. We are so close to 500. We are climbing fast. Thank you for everybody who has subbed to the channel. This announcement is going to be pretty huge, guys, okay? It's going to be fun. It's going to bring us together as the Dangerous Fam community. That's another hint for you guys. Also, it's going to basically be like two announcements in one big hyped event, okay? It probably will be a live stream, maybe a video. We're going to decide that later. Guys, it's, it's going to be so much fun. I'm just so excited to do it. Alex, Hannah, Andrew, we all know about it. We've all planned it. We thought this would be cool for you guys. It's going to be fun, guys. Trust me on this. So, you guys, if you have any friends that will like this video, send it to them and tell them to subscribe. All right, guys, let's get into all of this news that we have about Fortnite. We have a ton of stuff that has been leaked into Fortnite that we don't know for sure is going to come into Fortnite, but it's most likely going to come in. All right, first, version 14.30 is coming soon. That's probably going to be the next patch we see. It's going to bring in probably most, if not all, of this stuff I'm going to be talking about. There's a buttload of new stuff, so be prepared. First thing, the helicarrier. The helicarrier is now not going to be only the loading lobby. It's going to start moving around the map. We don't know if it's going to move once. We don't know if it's going to move twice. We don't know if it's going to be moving in general around the map. I think it's just going to start moving towards its map, toward the map, that way it can actually become a POI. I've been predicting this for a while because it makes sense, like, why would you put that much effort into a loading lobby if you're not going to be, if you're not going to have it become a POI? So it makes sense that they're going to have it become a POI. I think it's going to be a really popular POI, probably even more popular than Stark Industries when it drops. I think it's going to be really fun, and I will definitely be going there soon. With this new POI being added, new shield henchmen are going to be on the heli carrier. I don't know if they're going to be like the henchmen we saw in the first few seasons of Chapter 2, or if they're going to be like the Stark robots. I don't know what these henchmen are going to be like, guys. But there are rumored to be a lot of them on this helicarrier, so that will be very interesting to see. Guys, new skins coming to Fortnite. New Marvel skins have been teased. We've been waiting on these guys to come into Fortnite for a while, so I'm so excited to see these guys. I'm going to list them off. We got Venom, as you guys know. We haven't seen him yet, but we've seen a Venom ability in-game, so he's rumored to come out sometime soon. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was a basically like a skeleton that was like on fire. I didn't watch the movie, but it was a pretty cool Marvel superhero. It was played by Nicolas Cage. We have Daredevil. I don't know much about Daredevil either, but that would be really cool to see him in-game. And here's one that no one's talking about. We saw this a little bit, little bit earlier in the Helicarrier, and some people noticed, and I think I put, pointed it out in one of my videos. There's an eye patch sitting in the Helicarrier. This is rumoring Nick Fury. No one's really talking about Nick Fury anymore. I think it's still possible that we're going to see Nick Fury in game. I really do. I would it would, would be weird for Epic to lay that there and not touch it for the rest of the season. I think that would be odd. So Nick Fury, I definitely think will be coming. Guys, new boss. Mystique is coming to a new boss. As you can see, we have Mystique in the battle pass. I think it's in the 80s that you get Mystique. I'm pretty sure it is. But she's going to bring a new weapon, a new legendary weapon to game. It's going to be called Mystique's Dual Rapid Fire Pistols. Now, if you guys notice, we have never had these kinds of rapid fire pistols before. We've had the dual pistols that would shoot like single shot. I think these are going to be similar to like an SMG but dual wielded, so maybe a little bit more inaccurate, but therefore more DPS. It's going to be really cool to see, guys. I'm going to definitely have to check it out. All right, guys, next part. Everybody's expecting this. We just don't know exactly when it's coming. Galactus event. Galactus is closer than he has ever been right now, and he will probably just keep getting closer. Galactus event is coming soon. We've heard rumors that somehow, we've heard rumors that somehow the Tony Stark battle buses are going to affect the event. I don't really know how that's going to work. That's all I've heard. All I know is that the Galactus event is going to be very, very huge, and a lot of people are going to be pretty excited for it. Guys, the next section of this video, we're going to dive into all the stuff we know about Fort Nightmares. I did a little bit of a live stream, but I have more, a ton more information for you guys now. Okay. Leaks are saying, tons of leaks are saying this, Midas is returning. We don't know if he's going to be a ghost, we don't know if he's going to be alive, but it's going to be some sort of creepy Midas and he's going to be like some sort of boss that you have to fight. Also, if Midas is coming back, that means he's bringing back ghost henchmen. So henchmen are going to be coming back, but they're going to be ghost versions. It's going to be really cool to see. They've been rumored to have ARs, pump shotguns, and one other thing. So that will be interesting to see. If I had to give some sort of timeline, it's very unpredictable, guys. But here's sort of my timeline. You can judge this as you will. I think around October 12th, we're going to see the first patch to start rolling in this stuff. I don't think we'll necessarily see any direct changes right away. I think around October 12th, where we're going to start to see some movement in the game files of getting this stuff ready. Then towards the October 20-ish region, I would say we're actually going to start seeing Fort Nightmares. 
Don't be surprised if it's towards October 31st. Usually last year we saw it three days before October 31st, so I wouldn't be surprised at all. Another thing that we're looking to see that we saw a while ago is a skeleton Iron Man. We saw him rumored for a past update. I think it was like, oh, I can't remember what version it was. Past update, but it was Skeleton Iron Man, and everybody was saying, oh, it's going to be in Fortnite Mares, it's going to be in Fortnite Mares. So I think he will be making it into Fortnite Mares. That would make the most sense. There obviously is going to be some spooky decorations around the island being Fortnite Mares. Speaking of skeletons, we're going to have Skeleton P.O.E. make a return, of course. And guys, I've already started to save my V-Bucks for Skeleton P.O.E. I am so hyped for him to come in. I am so ready. I didn't get him last year. Which sucked. I don't know why I didn't. I was kind of stupid. I don't think I was really playing for it much at the time. But you can bet I will be getting so with the POE this year. The pumpkin rocket launcher most likely will be coming back. It's made its way back in every four nightmares in the past. So it wouldn't make sense if it wasn't in this one. So we'll see that again. Okay, guys. And the last big thing. Some sort of Halloween LTM is going to come back for sure. We're going to probably see some sort of zombie mode with Midas being boss. Last year was the Storm King. There's so many possibilities, guys. I don't have an exact prediction, but it's going to be one of those things. It's going to be really cool to see. I would love to see the Storm King come back. I didn't play much then, so I would love to see it. There's going to be a ton of new stuff, I bet, for Fortnite Nightmares. I think it's going to be one of the coolest Fortnite Nightmares we've ever had. Make sure you put in the comments below what your guys' thoughts are on Fortnite Nightmares and what you think are going to be coming into the game. I heart every comment, guys, and reply to everyone. And guys, if you made it to the end of this video, pat yourself on the back because you're about to see a new hint for the 500 subs announcement. Hint is on screen now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.